Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a very short tutorial on how to create a pretty easy development environment in Windows. This is a problem I see a lot of people having, a lot of new programmers or a lot of college students, specifically computer science or computer engineering students. They have programming assignments to do or projects they want to work on, but their Windows machine doesn't give them the tools they need to do that. You can't really compile on Windows, especially not C++. Now there are a few other workarounds out there for compiling on Windows. MinGW is one of them, but most of them are going to be more complex than the method I'm about to show you here. And most people nowadays are using VS Code anyway, and there's a very simple workaround built right into VS Code. And that workaround is the SSH extension. You're going to want to grab this extension right here, remote slash SSH. As you can see, I already have this extension installed. And once you do that, you might need to reload your VS code before you see this symbol down here. This is what you need, sort of blue box, the open a remote window. All right, so once you have that extension installed and your VS code has been rebooted and you see this little blue box down here, you can go ahead and click on that, open it up. And what you want is right here, either connect current window to host or connect to host probably going to want to add a new SSH host, and it gives you some kind of example here. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to be using the address of my school. This is basically the IP address that I would use to sign in and do work on the school computer. And then you're going to want to go ahead and save that configuration in one of the two config files. I don't really think it matters which one you choose, just remember which one that is. And then you can go ahead and click connect. It's going to open it up here. It's going to ask you what platform the computer is running, Linux, Windows, or Mac. But the whole point of doing this is so you have a Linux environment. So go ahead and hit Linux. Just make sure that the computer that you are connecting to does in fact run Linux. And then you're going to want to go ahead and put in your password there. And it might take a little bit. We'll go ahead and skip to when this is finished. All right. And now we are successfully SSH'd into the remote server. As you can see, we are connected via SSH to ecclinux.csuchico. And if we go over here, we have access to all of the things on the Linux server. We can run Linux commands like ls or cd. You can run make commands. You can run g++ commands. GCC commands. Anything that your Linux server has access to, you can run on here because you are on the Linux server. I'll just do a test file here. So you can see that we can go in there on Vim or we can open up a folder in VS Code itself. Depending on the security of your remote server, it might have you input the password a bunch of times uh, when you want to do VS Code stuff. So now we can go ahead and edit this. So we can say uh, this is a test file. We can go ahead and control S to save it in VS Code. And then if we go down here to our terminal, we can ls cat test.txt. And there we go. We can see this is a test file. So the editor in VS Code works, and we can compile on the Linux machine. You can SSH into any remote machine running Linux. I just used the one in my school as an example because a lot of college students can probably relate to that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments, and more tutorial videos coming soon.